Hey there, Stumblers, and welcome to our first ever Masterclass video. In this series, we'll be showing you around the workshop and giving you all a crash course in how to make your levels even more awesome. Let's get started. Jumping right into it, you can access the workshop from the main menu. Once inside, these handy tabs at the bottom let you navigate around. You can jump between workshop levels you've recently played, levels you've favorited, ones you've made, and levels that we loved playing and wanted to feature for you all to enjoy too. To start building a new level, hit that big create button. We'll need a name and a description to start with, but don't worry too much. You can change those as much as you like as you edit. Right now, we only support creating races in the workshop, but in the future, we'll be bringing other types of levels. Stay tuned for those. In the creator, we can pick a template to get started from. Each of these is a little different and gives you some pre-built context to remix or speed up creating. Welcome to the workshop editor. As you can see, we can fly around with the joystick, rotate, zoom in and out with a pinch, and shoot up and down with elevation buttons. Nifty, right? We've got a catalog of building blocks, toys and level bits on the side here. All we need to do to add these to a level is drag one into the level and drop it where we want it. If you've got a keen eye, you'll have seen that memory bar at the top of the screen tick up when I added that spinner. The level memory helps make sure your levels will play well and be a great experience for others. So keep an eye on that as you fill out your level. That's the real basics of creating a level covered. But let's keep building and see how we can change this template up and make it our own. Let's add some more pathways for players to take and put a couple of simple obstacles on them. Now that's looking good enough to test out, we can test our levels in a couple of ways. First, we can hit preview and watch the whole level run while still in our editor camera. This is really helpful when you want to see where a cannon will fire or how fast something will move. Second, we can jump into our stumbler here and experience our level firsthand. This is where you see just how bad at this game I am. Okay, I think this level is ready to be published. If we go up to our little burger menu here and in the corner, we can save, publish, or exit. We're gonna press the publish button and make our level available to everyone watching at home. If I hit publish, I'm gonna be asked to complete my level within the time frame before it can be made available for others. This means workshop levels are guaranteed to be completable in all your future custom games. And there we go, publish complete. My level is now live and anyone can grab it on their device and use the level code you can see now. If you've been watching along and want to grab my level, just hit that little magnifying glass in the hub and enter that code. And you'll be able to play the level in custom games and show me up royally. I hope you've all enjoyed this session. Join us on the next one and where we'll show you how to customize your toys and building blocks, build at breakneck speeds and set up your own checkpoints. Thanks for watching and see you soon.